Hey guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. I hope you guys are having a lekker day. It is actually quite warm. You'll see it is currently 9.30 and it is 23 degrees. But it feels much, much, much hotter than that. Uh, I'm currently sitting in the new Tigo 7, the uh, executive. So I want to show you guys just a couple of little things about the car. Now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be breaking up the content into smaller sections. Um, I see a lot of people don't watch the full videos for 10 minutes, so I'm going to try to break it up into like five minute segments Which will give you more and more of the details So the first thing I'm going to start with is just quickly the cluster I had a person actually ask me about changing the screen cluster itself um, When you are doing the clusters, you will be using generally these buttons um, On the left these buttons on the right is more for when you're doing phone calls your volume or changing songs and then obviously uh, also for activating um, cherry itself okay cool it didn't ask me what how I'm doing <laughs> I was just worried about that okay so I want to quickly show you you're gonna be mainly using the two arrows here with the button in the center so now if I go I'm gonna try and show you here that you can get a look of using uh, let's do this just a nice angle so that you can see I'm using this arrow here. So if you use press the arrow, you see your screen will change. So don't worry about that. You've got a whole lot of stuff there. Okay, so now with that done, we're just going to move more into the screen itself. So that you guys can get a better look. Okay. Uh, okay, that looks... Okay. Yeah, there's see it nicely. Okay, so first thing I'm going to show you, um, okay, the car is on because it's currently hot, so I've got the aircon on, which is lacquer. Um, you'll see it's still a new car, so I've done a thousand, well, it's got a thousand kilos on it. I reset it when I picked it up yesterday for doing 46 kilos. Don't look at the kilometers per liter because I have been flooring it to see how it goes. I actually took a couple of people out yesterday for a drive because um, I had a person asking me, you know how is the responsiveness for this engine because the body's a bit bigger than the uh, Tigo 4 but it's the same engine and gearbox and the same power um, there's a little bit of a delay compared to the T4 but it is still very responsive and it still drives beautifully anyway so let's quickly jump in if you press the two little buttons on the left that looks like two screens you see it'll give you this now quick thing if you do not do these quickly it actually kicks you out the screen so I press it there I let go you see it's about three four seconds and then it kicks you to the main screen so whatever you do you need to do it quite quickly actually okay so let's quickly jump in here so if we go in now we're gonna start on the time so you can do the time here um, so you can see with the arrows it actually tells you you can change the time if you press the center you see it'll give you the different dates and times of changing the stuff and then if you press it all the way, it obviously exits it. Uh, we're going to go to fault. So fault, when your fuel is low or your car has a problem, it'll actually come up here and give you what the solution is or what the problem is so that you know what to do. Um, I have to warn you, when it says a maintenance it needs to be done, it'll also show you a fault. So don't be alarmed about that. So we're going to press and exit that. Now we're going to go to the alarm. So the alarm... Is basically no, wrong one too many the alarm is basically to set your speed range so you can have it set that your maximum is 30 all the way up to let's press up to 130 so you can basically limit what your car maximum is uh, for the people that always worry about hitting a speed limit or hitting the speed net you know you can switch that on so that your car you know you won't get any fines especially when you're going down to Durban <laughs> Uh, cool now we're going to carry on going across move more now you've got your fatigue you'll see it's got a little cup now if you press it'll actually give you a fatigue so after an hour two hours two and a half hours you'll see there it'll actually come up and tell you to take a break um because of the amount of driving i do i actually switch this off because i find it annoying so just switch that off there and then you go out uh you're driving okay so you're driving itself you'll see currently the maintenance set is 15,000 what Cherry have done is they've actually made it now 15,000 instead of 10,000 like on the previous models which is quite a nice thing I know a lot of people were saying oh but it's you know all that settings and 
you know, it's 15,000 and it's 10,000 with the kilos and the service to get people confused. So they have now changed it. So it's these now 15,000 on the maintenance counter. Uh, you'll see when you press and hold it, it will reset to your normal things. <sighs> this is the only problem with doing stuff and trying to show you, you got to keep stuff moving. So you press and hold the center button and then it resets. Okay, so this is the trip computer, just how many kilos I've done since I reset it. You know, my ESC, so electronic stability control is currently on. You know, obviously you want to make sure that is good so that you don't feel like you're sliding all over the place. What I did find strange is that it's got the ESC on here, but there's no ESC button down here like with the other models, which is quite strange. Let's see if I can, yeah. It's only got the boot and the downhill assist. So I know with the T4 and the T8, it has the stability control, also the ESC. So this one you need to physically go in there, which I find strange, because I mean, you want to be able to do it on the fly, but this one you can't. So you physically have to stop to switch your ESC off. Okay, uh, what have we got left? Fuel. Okay, so now this one, you can select it if your car wants the kilometers to liter or, lead, you know, how many liters per 100 kilometers. I myself like having it as the kilometers per liter so I can do a quick estimation of how much kilos I'm going to get on a tank. Um, this little screen here is mainly for your uh, assist. When you have um, a car come up next to you or when your line is there, you'll see these lines will actually light up and it'll show you that you're getting too close to a certain line. Then obviously your center in the middle there, that is for your blind assist, which is on the windscreen, uh, on the window. Let me see if I can open this here so you can have a nice look. You'll see right there in the center, it's got your little... <laughs> yeah, it's quite an angle to see, but yeah, there it is. So that will actually show there, and then you've got your... If your car comes next to you, that will light up a little button there. And that is your cluster. Um, Guys, please like, enjoy, and uh, there will be more videos following soon. <laughs> please like and subscribe, and hope you guys have a lucky day. And it is starting to get quite hot in here. <laughs> just, just, bye.